Have you ever wondered why Jesus chose 12 apostles and not 10 or 7 or some other number? Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and maybe you already know the answer to this. There were 12 tribes of Israel, the chosen people. And the reason for 12 is that the great Jewish patriarch Jacob, also known by the name Israel, had 12 sons. That was the Old Covenant. And so when Jesus came to bring a new covenant, he chose 12 men to be the pillars of his church. In ancient times, the number 12 represented maturity or the perfection of government. So when Judas betrayed Jesus and didn't repent but despaired of ever being forgiven and then killed himself, the apostles decided they had to replace him so that the number 12 would be complete. According to the first chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, the saint whom we celebrate today was chosen to take Judas Iscariot's place. His name was Matthias, and he was one of the many followers of Jesus who also saw Jesus after his resurrection, and so could give witness to that fact. Pope Benedict once drew an important lesson from all this. He said that this choice of Matthias compensated for the betrayal of Judas, and that every Christian is called, in his or her own life, to balance the evil in the world with good. Here's how the Holy Father actually put it. We draw from this a final lesson. While there is no lack of unworthy and traitorous Christians in the church, it is up to each of us to counterbalance the evil done by them with our clear witness to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.